Hi, it's Amanda, Brandy Stitch Love, and I'm actually shooting a video from my foyer because I didn't get a lot of stitching done. I actually spent some time with my kiddos and my family, and so I figured that I would come in my foyer and show for you and show you what I have been working on. I didn't have a great successful stitchy day, but I had a successful day otherwise. Um, I reseeded some of my seed pots. And worked on my, actually that needs some more to saw. Worked on my African violets. Um, that was something that I've always wanted to be able to do was to grow some African violets and grow pretty African violets. And so I ordered specialty ones from a Etsy shop. I'm not saying how much money I paid for them because my husband's in the next room and he will gag. But it was over 20 bucks for like four plants. And plus shipping and everything and it was the leaves not the plants and out of four of them one has survived and so I repotted all of my African violets and I actually just propagated two because um, I inherited some from a friend she says I don't want to deal with these anymore they're not blooming for me do you want them and I said sure I'll take them and so I got her African violets I potted them in a pot they weren't really growing so I did the propagation thing I took a knife and I split them in half so we'll see what happens but I figured I would show you guys the progress of what I actually did work on tonight um, and then tomorrow we'll be back to stitchy on May 9th we celebrated my birthday and went out to eat and I went to the Dollar General Market and ha 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 it's a generic moo moo but y'all know me and my pajamas I'm all about that um so this is what I worked on. Um, I'm in my foyer and the lighting's pretty good here, but I'm gonna turn on a separate light and show you my plants. And then I'm gonna call it a close because this is not stitchy related. So if you're interested in looking, you will. And if you don't, you won't. So I'll see you guys later and maybe I'll have some more stitching to show. Bye. All right, every night our family has a weird routine. And this is actually in my foyer, and it's weird, but this is an antique dresser that I redid. And this is plants that we have. And that's Stitch, by the way. Uh, I had a beta fish that died, and my daughter and I went and got a beta baby boy. And so he's in his little jar now, and it is unreal how much this fish has grown. But his name is Stitch because he rotates between my stitchy spot and here in the foyer. And that's me and my husband and my children on adoption day and my parents and my in-laws. That was a very special day in 2013. It's hard to believe it's been that long. Um, and of course, there's my little Mary Ingle Brock goodies. And a stitched quilt rack that I did not do but purchased. And here are the seedlings that I told you about. Um, they are cherry tomatoes. They are watermelon squash chives and also beef steak tomatoes and I want to get just a little bit bigger and stronger before we decide to put them outside as you can tell the whoa let's look at that the watermelon is really stretching out ready to spread its legs and so I've got to get it out as soon as I can who knows we may be having watermelon in October all right and this are and it's under a purple grow light but these are my plants that I have. And maybe I should not have shown it with a purple grow light. Where are you going? Uh-uh. But I have different breeds of African violets. And right now I have Hano Darden. I have a music maker that was purchased off of Etsy. And look, this is what's left of the leaf. Not looking good at all. And this is what's left of the other leaf that I was working on with um, plants. I purchased these from Etsy. Spent over 20 I don't say that in front of my husband. And this is what's left. I have succulents and African violets. So let's count them. I look like a hoarder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten? Yeah, ten African violets right here. And a hopeful. And a hopeful there. But there is a root base uh, growing on this one. So I'm very excited. And I may actually... Order another one to replace the ones that died. Um, lucky me, there were two leaves for each one of the expensive plants. And so I shared the leaves with my mother. And luckily she's got some that are actually starting to hatch. 
patch. Listen to me, I'm tired. Uh, this one needs more potting soil. I've got two that I planted, and like these two, they need a touch up of potting soil after you repot them. These are actually um, soup mugs, veggie soup mugs. Um, I've got the cabbage and the corn, and that's a rooster, fits and fully rooster pot. And then I've got the carrot, and there's a cauliflower right there. So let me show you the other plants. All right, we're back over here in my kitchen window, and, and so we're going to try not to do this to where you see my reflection. But this is in my breakfast kitchen window, and that is on the other side, people. We have got to pressure wash our house bad on the windows. But um, right before I filmed this, my daughter made brownies for me last night for my birthday, and she got them everywhere, so I had to wipe it down. But one of the things that I have been proud that I've accomplished, I've got two African violets. One's a magic charm that I'm trying to root over here and is hen and chicks now this was a gift from my friend and of course you got the creepy creepers i forgot what this is called but i put it in a little soup mug i like to do the coffee mugs and the soup mugs and that's like an extra i ended up with like 30 cups to my everyday wear it's a long story and then of course there's another succulent and then here is my big hen and chicks my sweet deborah that passed away every time i go to their house i would always pinch off a baby hen and chick and it got to where they didn't grow and then I figured out how you grow hen and chicks is because you just don't overwater them so this is more of a I don't know maybe this is a more houseplant gardening video than than a stitchy video but it is mania so it is what it is hang on all right we're back over here and this is another the other window like I said don't judge the window it's awful I my little people and my rooster because I love roosters and there's another succulent that my daughter says looks like a I need to turn that actually it looks like a plant that Tinkerbell would sit in and I do not know what this is but this little guy has taken off in just a year's time and then of course these two right here come from Ikea that is a very prickly cactus and that right there is my air plant that I have had for two years no three years first time I went to a beach conference Okay, so now I have moved into my dining room that is turned into the catch-all room. And so, while I've been trying to touch up on the plants, I've got to actually, I've got to stop rocking. I've got to actually find my dining room table. Um, on a non-stitchy note, we are starting our home renovations. Uh, that was one of our deals that we were not going to start them until after I completed school and school is being complete. And there's a lot of other things going on, like the end of school year for my regular day job. And now I've got to work on a resume and hopefully try to advance my career. Hopefully with the school system where I work. I don't know. Never know about that stuff. Um, I'm trying to be confident. I'm trying to be positive. But we'll see. I do love what I do. But uh, with four kids, you need to pay back student loan. got to make more money. Ha! Huh, we'll see. But now I'm in my dining room, and as you can tell, my little china cabinet here, I've already showed to you guys a long time ago. It was, was a form, okay, the chandelier and everything indicates a formal dining room. <coughs> now it's not so formal. And so that's one of the things that I want to do is update it as a formal dining room. My husband and I are about to work very hard in this house, and we're looking forward to it. We bought our we bought our bathtub, and we're supposed to get it, not tub, but walk-in shower. We're supposed to get it this week, and my husband's having his garage built, so yay. Um, they're coming this week to do the concrete, and then they'll start next week building his garage. And everything that's in the garage, I won't show you all that, but everything that's in the garage is going to that garage so that moving process is going to be a pain in the butt and then everything that is in this formal dining room is going to be packed up yeah it's going to be packed up and i'm seriously thinking about selling my dining room table and getting a new one but i'm going to wait because i could very easily sell it and not have another one but pack everything up and move it into the garage because the first renovations that we are going to do are going to be to enclose this formal dining room and my daughter's room and make it into a master bedroom and master bath the plumbing the wiring everything is set up so bunch of rambling bunch, bunch of rambling so 
you know, it's one of those watch if you want to things. Um, it was a hard decision to come to this, but we're playing fruit basket turnover in our home. We're giving ourselves a larger family room. We're giving ourselves a master bedroom with a master bath. We had one, but it was bigger, and we split it up and gave it to the kids. And so now we're getting our own, and we're making the living room, family room that I have shot videos in before, our dining room. That was my grandmother's formal dining room, and so now it's going back to what it used to be. Because to me, it's just a beautiful room where the sunlight shines in all the time, and that's the choice. So, I'm rambling. This is not stitchy related, but this is what I did. And believe it or not, I think I'm actually going to sit down and stitch a little bit, but not enough to show you significant project progress tonight. Because it's like 10 o'clock and the dogs have just been fed and they've got to go outside and do their potty thing and run around the pool area and bark. You know what dogs do. So, we'll be up for a little bit longer and while they're settling down before we crate them up at night because we do crate them up at night because if not oh dear lord there's one of them outside fussing she doesn't like strange noises and she will howl and cry um yeah i'm rambling because i'm tired but happy stitching i hope you're actually stitching and not maybe and maybe you have a green thumb maybe you can give me african violet tips or oh my gosh there it goes and now we're fixing to have another one howling because they're singing, because they hear sounds. Coyotes off in the distance. Here it goes. But um, if you have a green thumb, maybe we can switch, you know, ship each other some African violets or some hen and chicks. Who knows? I have too many hobbies. But um, I know this is rambling, but my ideal room, Sunroom Stitcher, I want to give you a shout out because every time I watch your cross stitch updates, I want to go to your sunroom. And so I've kind of hinted around to my husband that as we close in our garage and make a family room, there is a door where we want to put like a really big window. And I said, wouldn't it be really nice if you gave me a sunroom out there? And he's like, when the kids are older. And I'm like, they're older now. Irrelevant. I know. But I'd like a sunroom so I could put like a settee set out there and put all these plants out there. I know it'd be hot, but at the same time, I know that I would enjoy it. Either way, not stitching related. Happy cross stitching. I hope you guys are making a lot more progress than me. I've had two bad days. One was a birthday celebration, so it was pretty good. And then today was just green thumb day. Who knows? And of course, moo moo, because I'm loving it. Um, it is the perfect thing to throw on after a shower. And yes, I am, my husband says I am the Dollar General princess. So, <laughs> yep, the Southern girls, we got to have our Dollar Generals. I don't know. Happy stitching. I'm going to start rambling. Take care, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye.